Hello, it's Sarah, and today I wanted to share something else about stained glass. I have pulled these three pieces together. Actually, this, these are the same. Um, Lee Mick, one of my subscribers, had posted a comment about how much she loves the copper color of the copper tape, and I do too. Um, <clears throat> oops, when you look at this glass, with the copper on it. Like, I really like that look, too, right? And so, she was wondering if there's copper solder. And there isn't, as far as I know, uh, but there is copper patina. So I went down and <clears throat> in the basement and looked around and found my <clears throat> Nova can super bright copper patina for solder. I also have black patina and this one is called pewter black. So it's like a silvery black or a gray and <clears throat> I couldn't, I think this is the black again, but I think this might be the pewter black. Let me look. I'm not positive. I can't be sure. I did these so long ago, I don't remember. But it seems as though I have always, well, not always, because I did find um, uh, a rose. I'll show you. So what happens is after you're all done soldering, and I also found this polish. This is stained glass finishing compound, which is totally empty, because I wanted to on this one there's there's some marks here I don't know it's it's zinc wait it's um see on here it says restores shine to already tarnished finishes adds luster and protects lead brass chrome copper raw solder and most patina finishes so it's just a layer that you put over the metal once you've um, patinaed it um, finishes and protects against tarnish for a professional finish. So I, I might have to get some more of that. But this is the black, I'm pretty sure, patina on this solder. This is the copper. Now it's not this, I think, I'm pretty sure it's the copper. And it didn't take it's not bright, bright copper like the copper foil, but it's definitely a copper finish. I don't know if you can tell. My angel looks a much uh, brighter copper, this one. She's over in my window. All of these stained glass pieces are in my craft room, just prop, because I have four windows in here. So I just prop these up. Um, this one's on a stand, my rose. The rose is on a stand. Um, this guy is just propped on the top part of a window, um, and I have others that I've made specifically for this room that are hanging, and then she just hangs over here to my left, but you can definitely tell she's copper. I patinaed her, uh, uh, solder with copper patina. And so, I wanted to get them uh, get out these patinas and I figure I just did these right and she had suggested that she thought this one specifically would look really good with the copper finish and I agree see this is a another rose that I did and I left this one silver which I don't mind but I just I wonder if I uh, polished it which I must have polished it as well because I think you just do that to protect the piece so it won't tarnish or discolor and it stays nice and bright shiny, you know. So this one's just left with a silver finish, which I like. So I'll probably leave this like that. And this one's been hanging in here um, since I found it. I didn't have a ton of them in here and then I went and rediscovered <clears throat> well, some of them have, like my, she was made for this room. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to 
use the patina on these two. And I'll show you. I'm just going to hang her back up so she's out of the way. Um, I'm going to put on rubber gloves. I have these. These are just the Curad stretch vinyl gloves. Because it is toxic, it says on there, um, let's see, harmful if swallowed, and poison causes severe burns, vapor harmful, read carefully. So I'll probably even turn on my, um, my smoke extractor as well. And we'll just see what happens. I'll do the little rose first. And I'm just going to, I'll read it to you too. So it says, Thoroughly clean project and remove flux residue. Remove accumulated oxidation properly prepared surface will appear bright and shiny. So it's pretty bright and shiny. Um, apply the patina generously with a clean plastic handle brush. All right, so I'll use a brush. Uh, continue brushing until desired finish is obtained, then wipe away excess solution. And then it says polish with a non-abrasive cleaner polish if required. So I pro I'm sure I probably did, and that's, that's why my polish is empty. So I'm going to just grab an old crusty brush. I have a lot of those. And I probably, I'm just going to put it on here. I mean, it's, it's not a... Um, it's not exactly the best. You know what I think I may have? <laughs> Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> I have a bowl, a plastic bowl. And you know what else I found? Um, more solder downstairs. I found some more 6040 solder. So I'm just going to put a little bit in here. It's blue. Abba -dee -abba -da. I'm going to turn on my... Ooh, look, it turns copper right away. I love it. Leary, Leary, I think her name was Leary. She's right, it looks good, copper. And see, the inside of the copper foil is copper, too. So if you put your foil on in such a way that you can see the inside of it, like through a clear piece of glass, the copper peeks out at you sometimes. So this is nice to be able to put this on since I did use clear glass on this. I don't always or often use clear glass, but in this case I did. So it has a copper finish. Let's do the back. Probably don't need to do the back, but what the heck. Should I do my castle? I'm going to do the castle because I think I want to do another castle. And maybe if I don't like the castle. Oh, there's like a. You know what? That's probably from my um, baby wipe. The baby wipes have fibers that get caught on here and I probably cleaned it with a baby wipe when I first did it and then it um so there it is I don't know how zoomed in I was that stinks I want to unzoom I'm using a napkin so I am going to set that aside and bring in this guy I wanted to see if it changed the patina of the wire, too. Uh-oh. It is. It's working. Wow, that's cool. I actually have copper wire, too. I bought copper wire, and I'm going to play with that on um, 
some projects as well. But I wanted to see what this would look like. Oh yeah, it's working. I think I like the silver on this, I'm not sure. And the black is, is a very cool finish too. Most like church, old fashioned stained glass, right? You think of with that black patina. So, anything goes. Whatever your personal preference is. Or, you know, as I like to say, use what you have. But it changed it. It changed it for me. It went from very high polish to a copper finish. Well, of course it changed it, Sarah. Silly. Yeah, it does the wire too. Uh-oh, I forgot one part. The little hanger. I think I got it. Yeah, I think I'll leave the other castle silver, maybe, and see the difference. I'm going to tip this. <coughs> and then it does say <coughs> then wipe away excess solution. Polish with a non-abrasive cleaner polish if required. So I think we'll be okay with it just being naked since I don't have any polish at the moment. What do you think? I kind of like it with the uh, pewter finish. Like, like, I can't think of her name. My subscriber said. What do you think of the, the castle? Okay, I don't want to touch the other one. Maybe I should have redid this a little. I might have polished it already. But see, some of it looks dark. I think it's I don't think it's changing it. I think it stayed the same. It's called patina. So those of you who want to change <clears throat> maybe even on your charms that you make, which I don't want to change these right now because then I would think about using different color charms. But I think they would look cool with different color. I just want to do one. I made them all specifically go with silver because I... What about her? I think I'm going to do her. <laughs> because I knew that I was going to have silver, so I picked out silver charms and silver findings.
and I don't think it will seep under. Like that's my only thing about with the charms though is <clears throat> if it seeps under the tape, then it could it could get your paper wet under there and it would destroy your design. So the le the less playing around with wetness. See and it is changing the um the jump ring as well. That's pretty cool. It definitely gives it a more antique look. It definitely changes it. Just have to be careful that you don't pull that tape up and let any of that moisture get into the Cool. So here's the difference. I don't want to have it on my hands when I touch this though. It's a huge difference. I kind of like it. I think the black would look super cool too. I think I'm going to do I'm going to do a little black. I'm going to do this one with black. <clears throat> I should probably use a totally different uh, bowl, but I don't have one. So I'm just going to soak it up with a paper towel. Put a little bit of black in here. Oh, it's still blue. I'm going to use a different brush. Ugh, this has all types of stuff on it. Blue. Wow. It sure turns it black, though. And look at my gloves. It's definitely... Wow, that is black. Come, it's coming off. <clears throat> Sorry about, I have a cold. Um, let's see. It actually, it doesn't look as good as, you know what, it might be because there's something on my brush. Like glue or something. I like it when it's more solid looking. When I wiped it, it kind of came off and looked more um, like uh, tarnished. It didn't have a pretty luster. It had a tarnishy luster. That's better. It stayed blacker that time. Wow, and then I think I would definitely want to polish it <clears throat> because this doesn't seem like it's very bright at all. But it is really... Three different ways to go, right? All right, you guys. So I just wanted to share that because I did have the patinas. It's called Patina, and this brand is Novacan. And the guy who I bought this from, it's uh, 
a solder glass shop down in gosh I can't think of the name of the town anyway he swore by it and he always puts uh, it's master metal finishing solution he would always he liked this one because it was just it was pewter black so it wasn't as black as that I should probably do one with this nah <clears throat> you'll have to find out for yourselves <laughs> alright you guys I just wanted to share that I hope that was helpful Thanks for watching.